so this is a real starfish, but it is dead and dried. So we have this in our collection. And what's interesting about this is that, yes, the part that remains of the animal that's still intact really is that endoskeleton. There would be the skin that's kind of located outside of it, but it's really dried to the endoskeleton. So this is hard and dry. I can clearly see, though, the madreporite. So you can go online and you can look at a lot of different starfish fish pictures. Look to see if you can find the madreporite. Sometimes it's nice and white and obvious. Other times you can't tell at all. But I liked this specimen because it showed the madreporite. I really can't see. I'd have to get under a dissecting microscope to really, can I find the anus here? Uh, maybe there? Okay, it's very unclear. If I turn this specimen over, Okay, again, it's dry. It's a little bit brittle, but we can see that these, all these areas in here, these are all the tube feet. A lot of them have broken off. We've had this specimen for over 20 years. This is going to be where the mouth is, and then the stomach's going to be in there. So it's not good to dry specimens like this because the whole animal is in there, and they can be pretty stinky for a long time. Uh, but at least we can see them in lab. We can see that there are some spines associated here. We can see that in there and that the mouth is that opening. That's it.